Hey guys, welcome back. If you're already subscribed, thanks for stopping in again. If you're new, thank you for clicking on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Today I have a little bit of bad news. The Articat is already broken. Haven't even ridden it yet. But what happened is, last night I took off the sliders for the track, IFAX, whatever you want to call them, and changed them. I put green ones on it. The old ones were worn out. The green ones are the same price anyway. So I did that. And then I stiffened up the rear suspension because I'm a heavier guy than the previous owner of this. And then I went to stiffen up the front and the seals are completely blown in the left side Fox float. So I'm gonna have to take that shock off and try and find somewhere today that can rebuild it. So we're gonna do that. But, also, tonight, potentially, I'm not for sure yet, one of my friends is going to go look at a sled, and he's never owned one, so I think I'm going to go with him. So I'll include that in there if we do. If not, I'll make another video of us going to buy a sled. But, until then, i got to pull this off. I started to kind of take the plastic off, because I was going to wrap it in black vinyl, and then like sticker bomb it or something, because I don't like that shade of green. But now I'm not sure. Now I might just leave it or I might just buy a wrap from sled wraps or something. I don't know. But we're going to take the shock off. It looks pretty easy. It's just one bolt right here. And one bolt right up there. So I'm going to do that real quick. Then we'll go find somewhere to rebuild it. I think I know a place. So we'll find out. So this is a little weird. But the uh, head on the bolt's a 13 millimeter. And the knot is a 15. So I'll set you guys down here. So that's out. Slide this guy out. Shot drop down. Now I'm going to have to get a box done wrench in here and do it old school without the impact. So I highly recommend these Milwaukee ratchets to anybody because a box end wrench won't actually fit in there and there's only this much room to ratchet but I can use the Milwaukee ratchet and I can break it loose just by ratcheting it of course I gotta put a wrench on the other side and then I can just pull the trigger like that and ratchet it so let's see what we got the ratchet down here now we'll slide the bolts out, bolts out, shocks out. Not very difficult. Let's put the hardware back, and then when I go to put it back together, I know where it goes. So there's that. Looks like the BMW needs a wash here, but oh well. Off to, I'm going to Michigan Power Sports first. I think they'll be able to do it, so let's head out. Yes, this car is unfortunately an automatic. My car before this was not, and I miss it. So, next car coming to the channel, most likely will have a manual transmission. Like 99% sure of it. Probably a 335i. We will see though. I'm not made of money, so. So I'm at MPS, I just dropped the shock off. Um, they are doing, I'm gonna go get my other shock, they're gonna do both of them because the rebuild kit comes with enough seals to do two. So if I'm already buying the rebuild kit, I'll just pay him the labor to do the other one. So I'm gonna go pull it off and we'll drive the C10 back up here. And that'll kind of be the C10 video for the day. I'll probably upload both of these videos today as separate videos. So here's the place right here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when I drive the other shock up here. Other shocks off. 
the other ones at MPS. The total cost to rebuild both is going to be $200. Parts and labor, so $100 a piece. So I'm going to put the garage door down right now. I'll walk down to my grandma and grandpa's. Roofer still hasn't came and got all his stuff. If you watched my video yesterday, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, what I'm doing, I don't feel like moving it. So I'm going to drive over it. It's just wood. It's not going to hurt it. So I'm going to back the truck over the wood real quick. And we'll take it to MPS. I guess while the slides up in the air because both the shocks are off of it I'm gonna raise it up a little more and then I guess since it's up in the air and I can't really ride it the truck is uh, well we won't talk about the truck right now you got to watch that video tonight but the C10 video is gonna be a little disappointing for you guys and you'll just have to watch it and see why but I guess since it's already down we'll change out these carbides I haven't got my new ones yet, but maybe they're 15. And so simple as that with an impact. One, two, three, four. All four are out. That's got singles on it now. I'm gonna put dualies on it. The singles make it dart around a lot and they don't have good traction around the corners compared to the dual carbides. So should be able to just tap it out. She doesn't look too bad. Maybe I'll uh, sell these or give them to someone on one of the snowmobile pages that could use them. The front part's gone, but this part's pretty good. So. I'll take the other one off off camera. The shocks are at MPS. Uh, the truck video is coming tonight, so there's that. And just thank you for subscribing. If you're not already, go ahead and hit that button. Expect a lot of sled videos this winter of riding, and thank you. Have a good day.